Steven Allen Spielberg is an American film director, producer, and screenwriter, with classics such as Jaws, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, Indiana Jones, and Jurassic Park accredited to his name, it's no wonder Steven Spielberg has been regarded as a major figure of the new Hollywood era and a pioneer of the modern blockbuster. His films have grossed an astounding $10 billion worldwide, making him the most commercially successful director in history. He's also been nominated for countless awards and is the recipient of many, including an Oscar for Best Picture with Schindler's List and three Academy Awards, two for Best Director with Saving Private Ryan and Schindler's List and one for Best Picture with Schindler's List. Despite working in a field so reliant on reading and writing, Spielberg has congenital dyslexia. Dyslexia is a language-based learning disorder in which an individual's brain processes written language differently. Contrary to popular belief, the core indicator of dyslexia is not reversing letters. Rather, it is a difficulty decoding words. Decoding is the process of translating print into speech by rapidly matching a letter or combination of letters, graphemes, to their sounds, phonemes, and recognizing the patterns that make syllables and words. Poor decoding abilities contribute to difficulties with reading, and Spielberg was no exception to this. Diagnosed only at the age of 60, Spielberg battled a great mystery for most of his life. Growing up in the 1950s, dyslexia was not a diagnosis. No one had an understanding of what dyslexia was, so Spielberg was often mislabeled as lazy by his teachers and faced bullying from classmates. In the following clip, Spielberg briefly discusses how dyslexia impacted his youth and inspired him to create one of his hit films, The Goonies. And in my case, I was actually um, in unable to read for for at least two years, uh, I was two years behind the rest of my class, and of course I went through what everybody goes through, yeah. is teasing. Yeah. And I had to go through that for a long time, and so the teasing, you know, led to a lot of other problems I was having in school, but it all stemmed from the fact that I was embarrassed yeah. to stand up in front of the class and, 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 and read. So you have always kind of known that you were a little different than everybody else. Yeah. How has making friends been for you when you were a kid? And what was that like? Well, I could make friends in, in sort of my own, you know, social, social uh, circle, you know, sure. and, and my social circle was probably a pretty big social circle because it was a lot of kids who had, you know, you know, let's put it this way. My friends couldn't throw a football. They couldn't catch a baseball. I like the Goonies. You got it. That's why I made the Goonies. That's why I wrote the story, because yeah. because I was a member of, of, of the Goon Squad sure. when I was a kid uh -huh. growing up. In the same interview, Spielberg goes on to mention how filmmaking was the outlet that allowed him to deal with bullying. I'm saying, and, but I never felt like a victim. That was the important thing. I never felt like a victim. I think movies really helped me, kind of saved me from shame, from from guilt, from putting it on myself when it wasn't really, you know, you know, my own burden. It wasn't my burden. Sure. And I think making movies was my great escape. That's really how I was able to get away from yeah. all of that. There are no medications to cure dyslexia and no known ways to correct the underlying brain differences that cause dyslexia. However, educational interventions can help overcome some learning challenges. Spielberg credits both his parents for their support in keeping his studies on track, but learning to accept and adjust to his condition after living with it for 60 plus years is really what allows him to continue thriving and being successful. And, uh, and so I've been able to overcompensate and I just basically, with, no, with never feeling ashamed of myself, yeah. will take, you know, two hours and 45 minutes to three hours to read 120 pages. It takes me about two hours 45 minutes to read what m most people can read in about an hour and 10 minutes mm -hmm. and I just know I'm still slow at reading but I've learned to um, adjust. Steven Spielberg's message for people with dyslexia is simple you're not alone and while you will have dyslexia for the rest of your life you can dart between the raindrops to get where you want to go it will not hold you back.